Hello and welcome in to another video. You're joined by me, Daniel, and we are painting this otter again in a different style. This style is a DreamWorks style this time, and it's a three-part video kind of thing. So last week you would have saw me on the last video. Um, you would have seen me paint this already in a Simpson style. Um, now in that video, I went into a little bit of detail of what I'm doing with it, like, you know, where, where I'm taking it, so what kind of styles I'll be painting it as. Um, it's a 90 minute art challenge, or supposed to be, but with the uh, first challenge, the Simpsons challenge, it didn't take as long, like 30 minutes-ish. And then from there, it's like I could only push it so far because it was a simple style and like you know i would have to kind of start again i guess if i wanted to make it better which could take another hour um which i could have done maybe um but i mean there's only so much that you can do with simple colors um and then you've got the other side of the um kind of spectrum i guess or you call other side of the wheel <laughs> where um you're dealing with a dreamwork style which is very colorful and um kind of realistic it's not completely completely realistic but it's realistic to a state where it's believable and you know you can tell something is furry you can tell who this character is, um, you can tell this character has some stories and background to it, you, you know, um, lots of shading, lots of, um, textual, um, not too much, just, like, yeah, enough to tell the story, um, enough to tell what kind of texture this character is you know kind of a thing um but not super super realistic um but for this style it does take a lot of work and effort um to do create it well and and to paint it well i mean um this obviously with the stream works some of it is 3d most of it is 3d um I'm not sure if this poster is actually being painted. Um, it looks like it could have been, as far as I can see. And there is a lot of art through DreamWorks um, as well. Um, but, you know, the actual movie itself, most of it is in the 3D. Um, there is obviously painting aspects in there and, and that kind of thing. And there is obviously lighting and, and everything. So you can get the same result from, from painting it. Um, but it, yeah, it does take a lot of um, understanding um, and a lot more than just a simple Simpson style. Um, however, you know, drawing something in, in different styles and in different things. Um, it does help because I think I'm used to doing something more kind of on the realistic side. I'm not used to doing a lot of like the Simpsons style, like a flat 2D stuff. Not usually. Um, I have in the past and, you know, I've played around with it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm more suited towards the kind of realistic 3D kind of side in a way. Um, but just looking at DreamWorks and how they present their stuff, um, it's it's epic and, it, you know, that's the kind of work I want to achieve. So um, this gives me kind of um, another level just to just to play around and, and try to figure out um, what this style is made out of, you know, how do I achieve this? Um, so that's what this kind of challenge gave me. Um, a little bit of a glimpse because this is very glimpsy um it's just one painting um of an otter in this style and you know i i feel like 
I ran out of time for this one. Like I said, like the other side of like the scale where, uh, you know, um, the SimSim Sim style is simple. Um, it won't take too long to create. It just obviously take a little bit to get it right. Um, but it doesn't take a lot a lot to actually get it right um the simpsons is awesome and they've done many things and everything like that that's just their style that's what they use because they've they are a kind of um show they've done it for many years and um you know they they need that in a way to storytelling it is a it's a great medium for them um for the simpsons they could have gone the DreamWorks, but that would have taken, like, you know, for each episode, it would have taken a couple of months at least, you know, um, compared to the Simpsons, you know, they're very, um, kind of, I think they do, like, a season every year or something like that, you know, they, they do a lot, um, definitely in the past, I don't, I don't keep up with the Simpsons, but, you know, um, it works for them it's there's nothing wrong with it exactly you know um each to their own kind of a thing you know the, the 2d is amazing um it's yeah it's for me i do prefer the more realistic more kind of <laughs> um yeah kind of a feeling which the DreamWorks kind of suits me, and yeah, I thought, give it a go. The, the third style, I actually thought, I mentioned that in the last video, was, um, I thought it was, uh, it's just me drawing it in my own, but I decided to actually do a third style that wasn't my own, um, and you can see a glimpse of it, so you won't be able to, um, so this is like a teaser trailer, I guess, for it. Um... You won't be able to see much of it, but basically, um, it's kind of in between them both. So, I kind of went for a style that was in between. Um, you know, I I feel like I've gone from one side of the scale where it's, like, totally um, flat and uh, sort of colour, obviously, minimal shading um, to a you know, very vibrant, very out there, extravaganza style to, you know, something mid-central where it's, you know, it still has a little bit of the elements of, like, the realistic style to it and the texturing of fur and, and that kind of thing, but it still has um, a little bit of the Simpsons flatness, you know, like, it's so I try to picked something in between and that was difficult finding you know the the different styles um because of what you know what kind of makes them different um uh, you know what's the difference between kind of the simpsons versus anime um kind of a thing and and how do i show that through a painting of a otter um that's easily done when, you know, you're versing from one side of the scale, the, the, the painting, really realistic and everything, versus the Simpsons, it's kind of easy to do it that way. Um, but to do something like, yeah, the anime style versus the Simpsons style, there are like, lots of differences, um, obviously. Uh, but to show that is, you know, <laughs> is not easy when you're painting an otter, you know, painting the same thing. Um, you know, if it's different if, you know, got an anime character, that's what an anime character looks like versus a Simpsons character. Um, so like what would an anime character look like in a Simpsons movie? You know, uh, that kind of that kind of aspect or what if you took a simpsons character what he would he look like in an anime style it's kind of like that if that makes sense um so that's me painting this pixar pixar dreamworks um creation which is yeah pixar dreamworks um so hopefully you've enjoyed me painting this otter um again i could have used more time to paint this but this 90 minute art challenge i did enjoy it um and I feel like I kind of achieved the style 
uh, I still think there's things to learn about this style and there's well, there's probably easier ways about it um, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed it keep creating bye